Go. All right. Um, so I think I'm just going to read to you two verses in Philippians today that really encouraged my heart this morning. And so I'm just going to share. Um, Philippians 1 6. So I'm reading a book on the Holy Spirit right now, and I love it so much. And he was talking today about it's not about trying harder to walk with the Lord, but it's about learning to let him lead you and participate with him. Um, and in, this is in Philippians 1, 6. It says this. This is Paul speaking. He says, I'm sure of this, that the one who began a good work in you will bring it to completion in the day of Christ Jesus. And that's really reassuring. If you ever feel like, am I ever going to get this? Am I ever going to follow you well? Am I ever... If you've ever like done the same thing over and over and thought, what is wrong with me? This, this is really assuring to my heart. And then I want to read it to you in another translation. It says, it says, I pray with great faith for you because I'm fully convinced that the one who began this gracious work in you will faithfully continue the process, maturing you until the unveiling of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the beautiful thing is, is that we participate with the Lord in what he's doing. So I'd like you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Go ahead and do that again. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And I feel like he wants us to pause before we begin and ask him, Lord, what, what are you specifically doing in me right now? This good work of maturing, of growing. And Lord, what does it look like for me to participate with you? So maybe you're growing in emotional strength. Maybe you're growing in holding your tongue instead of gossiping. Maybe you're growing in faithfully reading the word every day. Holy Spirit, will you come and show us where we're growing and where you're inviting us to grow? Father, thank you that you are faithful to complete the work in us as we walk with you, Lord. We recognize that we do have a part, but we're not primary. So, God, today as we move our bodies, would you speak to us about the next steps for each one of us in growing in grace, that we would never live stagnant in our faith or in our intimacy with you, Lord, but that we would continue to be people who are hungry, <laughs> that we would never be satisfied, and that we would long for the beauty of what Paul prayed for that we would be mature, walking with you, and representing Jesus here in our world, God. So meet us as we move. We thank you for this time. Thank you for good bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Give me a little side to side. Shake it out. All right, now we're friends. Side to side. Heel up. Elbows back. I feel like we're even going to be hard today. Cross <laughs> your body. Now we're going to jump. We begin to brace your core. Wide leg. Knee low. We jump. Cross your body. 
30 in a minute, moving to 20 seconds.
chair and practice squatting. You'll see how far your knees go forward. That forces your knees to stay above your ankles. There's a time for this squat, but that's not what we're up to today. You're gonna squat curl. That's move one. Then you're gonna curtsy and hammer. So first curls are like this. Second curls are like this. And I'll tell you the next two when we get there. So, the father wanted to drop an encouragement today that he is working. And you don't have to be driven by performance. All right, squat curl. It's one minute. It's a long time, y'all. Here we go. Just kidding. Hold on. I picked the wrong timer. Just keep, just keep moving. All right. So this is not speed, it's endurance. So he is interested in us finishing our races, right? He wants us to get to the end of our lives and be able to say, well done, good and faithful servant. But I think what the Holy Spirit wants to do is take the pressure off you have to do it. It's God working in you and you participating with him. Be faithful to complete the work you started. <laughs> now, can he do it without you? No. We <laughs> participate with the Lord. Deadlift, come up, 
Turn your weight so that your palms face one another. Row, stand all the way up. Ready? Here we go. So keep your core strong. Shoulders lift down and back. So keep your chest open. Good job. Shoulders, here we go. Lunge back, lift up. Stuck in desert days till mercy came and 
So we're down to 40 seconds. Grab a drink and I'll show you what the add on is. The fuse is bright. It does start moving a lot faster. Alright, so probably, probably lighter weights. Shoulders down back, you're gonna side lunge, cross your body, press up. Side lunge. This is like a sword drop. Lunge. So that's what we'll do after wacky jacks. So you can go as heavy as you'd like. Let's see. Oh, lower a little. That's so fun. It's Philippians 1 6. All right. Are you guys ready? Just trying to burn time, but we should just move on. All right. Six moves, 40 seconds each. Back to the top with. Squat curls. Ready? Here we go. In your squat, I want you to look down and then pick up your toes. I know oftentimes we, we clench our jaws and we grip with our toes. So, in your shoes, lift your toes. Feel the four corners of your feet engage with the floor. So you get to participate with the Holy Spirit in your life. Oh, praise the Lord, rest. So it's no more performance and trying harder. Hurt the hammers. Take those shoulders back with the girls. Then knit your ribs in. All right, here we go. So this isn't about you making a grand plan. It's like a diet. The Lord, we never work in 
Sydney wants to introduce rhythms of intimacy. What does it look like when you wake up in the morning to set your gaze on Jesus? How do you do it throughout your day? What is your rhythm of reading the Word of God, of worship, of prayer? We get to participate and said, try harder. Holy Spirit, what are you doing? What are you inviting me to rest? All right, alternating lunges with those front lifts. Here we go. There's a, a scripture that Paul wrote somewhere in the New Testament that talks about essentially, this is my wording, that self-effort is no effort at all. Instead, we participate, we partner with the Holy Spirit. You might say, hey, you need to focus on that. Rest. And the Holy Spirit's actually like, that's actually not it. Let's go after this. All right. Dead, let's roll. Here we go. So ask him, Lord, where are you working in my life that I get to participate with you and I get to love you and obey you in? started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day that Christ Jesus appears. He will do it if we'll walk with him. And that's exciting. That our lives get to be spent walking with the King of all kings. Studying John 14 this month. And that's where Jesus says, it's better that I go because you get Holy Spirit. 
So, I'll probably never stop talking about the Holy Spirit because he is the one who is with us. And it's interesting because Jesus actually said the Holy Spirit will be with us forever. I've never thought about that before. So once we get to eternity and we're with him for all of time, the Holy Spirit will still be inside of us for the rest of eternity. Isn't that amazing? I don't know. Kind of fun. All right, so we're going to do all those five moves and add on a lateral shuffle. So last move, lateral shuffle. You want to drop. As long as you're not here, you can drop. you got to stay here. Keep that chest up. But everything else is the same. So starting with the squirrels, squat curls at the top. And we're down to 30 seconds with 10 in between. Woo! Here we go. This is the second to last time you get to do this today. You're almost done. All right, five seconds. Next move is that curl hammer. Rest. Ten seconds. All right, draw your shoulders back. Lift your chin a bit. Here we go. I think it's in Jude where the author wrote that we would be presented before God without blemish and great joy one day. Rest. All right, alternating lunge with that front lift. All right, here we go. Fifteen seconds. Rest. Next move, deadlift row. Rest. Rest. 
on one move. 20 seconds only. The last move we're adding is burpees or lunge chair. So if you prefer chair lunge, you're going to be here. And if you want a burpee, take it. So 20 seconds. That's all. And we get to stretch. So in this last round, distract yourself from the work by asking the Lord, what is it you have? What is, where do you want to grow me next? Where are you inviting me to transformation? All right. Squat curls. Here we go, darlings. Not much longer. Here we go. 20 seconds. You can have You can have me Five seconds. The great thing about these is they go really fast. Rest. Alright, curtsy with hammers are next. Three, two, one. Check your form. Lift the corners of your mouth. Rest. Next move. Alternating lunge, front lift. Shoulders back, brace your core. Here you go. Thank you. 
confident that he who began a good work in you will finish it. He's faithful to complete it in the day of Christ Jesus. All right, wide legs. Bend at your waist, keep your knees soft. Hands down, palms touching, and open up. Bring that hand down, open the other way. Hands down. Now interlace your fingers down to the knuckles, turn your palms down, and then as you inhale, bring it up, drop your shoulders out of your ears, and reach over to the right. Maybe you look up towards your armpit, or your elbow a little bit rather. Inhale up, exhale other way. Inhale up to your elbow if you want. Inhale back up now, press your palms forward, tuck that chin into your chest, and stretch. Inhale back up, exhale to cactus arms. Drop the shoulders, twist. Now send your arms. Bend your arms back, back arms to the center. Inhale up, exhale, dive. Now, chin into your chest, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale up, exhale, cactus arms. Twist the other way. Send your arms like you're reaching to the walls with your fingers. Cactus from the center. Inhale up, exhale, dive. Now from here, grab your elbows. You're framing your face with your arms and you rock side to side. Now, you your whole foot, move 
Extend your left leg long, anchor your toes to the floor, and press back. So you're gonna, the goal is as if you're pressing your heel to the floor. Now reach that right arm forward. Now take your hand back down. Take the leg behind you, cross it over, look over your right shoulder, press back a bit. Gently switch sides, extend the right leg, press back. Reach that left arm forward. Put your hand down, take that foot behind, press into your hips, look over that left shoulder. Back to all fours, cat and cow. Let these songs be what they're meant to be. The sound of your church away. All right, come back to neutral spine. Bring your right leg forward. Now, you may need a weight. If, if you find yourself rounding your shoulders a lot, grab a weight so that you can lengthen your spine and really open up your chest. Now, come up to that leg. And that's all I really need of my soul six in the morning. Now left hand under your nose, right open up with your right arm. And he loves me and all that I'm compelled to bring. Bring that hand down, press your hips back, toes towards your nose, reach your hands forward. Every morning I come alive as you call. Alright, gently come on up, switch sides. Same thing. First, make sure you've got a long spine, then come on up, leaning into those hips. Shoulders back, lift your face. Let your heart move in thankfulness. Tell thank you, God, thank you. Want to finish what you started in me. Lord, I want to work with you. I want to walk with you. I want to know you. I'm not interested in Sunday morning faith. I want to know you every moment of every day. Right hand under your nose, left arm open up. Gently bring that hand down, hips back, toes towards your nose. Here, you're going to square your hips, 
Draw your head back. Lift your face. And then as you're ready, take it and lie down. Now, if you want the seated option, you sit and you cross your ankle over your knee and then bring your high knee towards your heel. You'll get just as good of a stretch. So be where your body needs to be today. Oh, and take off your shoes if you want. Forgot about that. Now we're going to be here for probably a full minute. So shift around if you need to and deepen your breath. Walk over to the left. Then they come back to center. Now, from here, you can move into child's pose or onto your back for silence and a bit of rest.
Philippians 1 6 and I'm sure of this that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ Jesus now I'm going to jump down to the prayer he prays right after this for them so I would love it if you would put your hand on your heart and make this your prayer. This is what Paul prayed for us, and you we know that's a reflection of, the, of God's desire. He says, it is my prayer that your love would abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment so that you may know what is excellent. And so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. So, Lord, we pray this back to you, God, that our love would abound, that we would know you, that we would have discernment, that we would have insight into what is excellent in our lives, that we would be pure and blameless before you, filled with the fruit of righteousness that brings you praise. Oh, thank you for your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you speak Bible. Pray for each one of us that we would learn to walk with you. That we would not strive, but we would learn intimate friendship with you, God. That we would obey and follow you all the days of our lives. So, God, we love you back. Thank you for this time. Thank you for these good bodies, for workouts and muscles and community, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.